You're awake. An hour before my alarm clock. When you're in there, can you make me a little tea, please, with some honey and lemon? You know it's really good for my throat. Sure. I'll just run down to the store and get you some. I'll take that as a no. An incredibly rude no that deserves an explanation. Okay, Rachel, truth time. You have been a nightmare ever since the Winter Showcase. I knew it. It was only a matter of time before you became jealous of all of my success. And just when we were getting inseparable. Uh, we became close because you became tolerable. But now you got that weird naked boyfriend and that weird legion of sycophants. Uh, uh, now you're like, you're like an annoying, self-righteous Lima Rachel on steroids. You know what? Let me give you a little bit of truth, Kurt, okay? The only reason why Carmen Thibodeau even let you sing at the Winter Showcase was because she knew that you and I were friends. You might have won the showcase, but my performance was one that everyone was talking about. Because I blew you away. And I could do it again. Midnight Madness. You and me, head to head. I wouldn't do that if I were you, babe. Oh, why not? Because I already beat you once. Deep off, sophomore year. Remember? Only because I threw it. At high F and fine gravity, I can hit that baby in my sleep. I tank the note on purpose. Okay, why would you do that? Because I didn't want to win. I wanted to save my dad the embarrassment of having a son sing a song written for a woman. I don't believe you take that back. I can't. It's truth time. That was my first big win. That was the foundation that I built all of my confidence on for the past two years. Oh, consider it cracked. Get ready for Diva Off Part 2. And this time, I'm not throwing anything. Enjoy your tea. <laughs>